Hello, welcome to all of you, those who are very excited to learn the English grammar and those who are preparing for the bridge course and entrance preparation. Here I am going to put a grammar lesson, question tax, MCQ quiz. This lesson will be uh, in the MCQ set objective questions with answer or question tags and this will be beneficial for all those students who are preparing the bridge course and entrance preparation. Here I am going to put a first lesson in front of you and there will be hundreds of MCQ question set for the each grammar lessons in the part wise. So the first lesson and the first question is here. I am not going to put only the questions with answer but options with answer and detailed information why this option is correct. The here first question is I am the recipient of the best all rounder award and the options are here haven't i am i isn't it aren't i and one is not attempted the correct option is aren't i why aren't i is correct for the detailed information is here a short question Following a sentence is called a question tag. When the statement is positive, we use a negative question tag. And when there is negative statement, we use positive question tag. However, if the main verb or auxiliary verb in the statement is M, the negative question tag usually is aren't I. For example, I am going to get a positive response aren't I. Why aren't I? Already I have told you if the statement is affirmative the tag will be negative. If there is is we can write isn't it isn't. If there is are we can write aren't and if there is am not am only so, short form of M0 is aren't. We will therefore use the question tag aren't I to fill in the blanks. The complete sentence will be I am the recipient of the best all rounder award aren't I. Option 4 is the correct answer. Now I am giving you the additional information. When the verb in the statement is present simple or past simple and is positive and there is no auxiliary verb in the statement, here we use for verb 1 we use don't, for verb 5 we use doesn't, for verb 2 we use didn't. For example, Jenny eats white sauce pasta the answer we is doesn't see why doesn't see here statement is affirmative this jenny it's a white pasta is in the affirmative form and here is verb 5 for verb 5 already i have told you we can use doesn't so here is doesn't and jenny is female so for jenny we have used see so doesn't see is the correct answer. Now I am moving to the second question and second question is he doesn't belong to your state. Options are isn't it, does she, has he, didn't he and not attempt, attempted. Option 2 does he is the correct answer. Why? Does he is the correct answer? The detail on for information is here. 
In grammar, a question tag is a very short clause which is used at the end of a statement which changes the statement into a question. For example, in she said half fries didn't see. Why didn't see? The words didn't see are a question tag because said is verb to and the subject is here see. For a negative sentence, we use affirmative question tag and for the affirmative statement, we use negative tag. Question tag for a statement which has does plus not is does plus subject. That is does he. Therefore, the correct answer is option 2. Complete sentence is here. He doesn't belong to your state. Means a statement is already negative. So, positive tab. Does he is the right answer. Now, I am moving to the third question. Let's go for a walk. It is the imperative sentence. Shall we is the first option. Second option is will we. Third is shan't we. Fourth is do we. And fifth one is not attempted. The correct option is option number one, shall we. Why shall we is the right answer. The reason behind this is here. The sentence and the question tag must be in the same tense. For the negative question tag, use the contracted form of helping verb and not. If a statement starts with let's or let us in the imperative sentence, then we can use shall we in the question tag. Let's sit in the garden shall we so the correct option is option number one correct sentence is let's go for a walk shall we if there is late only we are generally writing will you but if the statement starts from late apostrophe yes we can use shall we now i am going to move for the another question question number four don't keep arguing with me for everything don't keep arguing with me for everything options are will you would you don't you should you the correct option is option number one will you why will you is right answer there may be the question in your mind so i am going to pacify your thirst the sentence and the question tag must be in the sentence. The given sentence is negative, so we need a positive question tag. So we use the contracted form of helping verb for positive question tag. If a statement starts with don't in the imperative sentence, then we can use will you in the question tag. Don't make a noise, will you? Why? The statement has started from don't. Sentence has started from don't. So the correct answer is option number one. Correct sentence is don't keep arguing with me for everything, will you? When the sentence starts from don't, without thinking, we can use will you? Now, the question number Five question number five is here. She hasn't come it. She hasn't come it. Negative statement. Options are hasn't see, haven't see, doesn't see. From the option also we can understand if the statement is negative, the answer will be affirmative. Tag will be affirmative. Only one uh, affirmative tag is here has he so option number four has he is the right answer and the correct explanation detailed explanation for this is first of all the helping verb is considered the same helping verb is used for the question tag 
if there is is in the statement same is is repeated if there is has the same as is repeated if the sentence is negative the tag will be positive if the sentence is affirmative the tag will be negative since the sentence is negative a positive question tag will be used here according to the helping verb this way has she is the question tag that should be used here the complete sentence is she hasn't come yet has she so for today for this lesson this much only today and the rest question will be put in the further part part 2 and uh, for many parts will be presented and this all lessons today's first lesson and the rest lessons which are upcoming will be beneficial for you you will get detailed information and uh, this lesson will give you the detailed information about tag question and further information will be put in the another video have a nice day thank you very much may god bless you and this video may be helpful thank you very much